Greetings, my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to the first day of bug eating. And this is the last day of my five days of bug eating. And today it's actually not even a thing to eat, but something to drink. And it's called bug a poop tea. <laughs> yep, you heard that right. Bug a poop tea. So, I'll read it to you. Bugapoop is a special tea made from the feces of grain moth larvae. These larvae are fed nothing but special tea leaves that have been naturally fermented. As the leaves pass through the larva's body, they continue fermentation. The droppings are hand-picked and the collected droppings are dried and then further aged. So, if you didn't get that in summation, these larvae are fed tea leaves and as they eat it, they process it and they poop it out and then they collect it to make tea. <laughs> Which reminds me of a coffee where I think it's a civet, a little kind of cat-like creature, eats coffee beans and then poops out the beans and the beans are collected and then it's supposed to taste better? I don't know. At any rate, we have bug -a poop tea and yeah, let's see how it tastes. <laughs> All right, I bought these from Thailand Unique. I'll put the information down below. This is not a sponsored post. I just bought them because I was curious. So, okay. So in this bag, we have a Ziploc bag, and we have one, two, three, five tea bags. And let's see what they're like. Hmm, it doesn't have too much of a strong smell. It smells actually more like paper or something. Hmm, anyway, here's my tea mug. So if you look in the light, you can see little tiny pellets. Can you see that? of larva poop. Great. Okay, now we're gonna add a cup of hot water. Allow it to steep for 20 seconds. Wow, so it's immediately turning this tea color. What's it smell like? Doesn't smell bad at all. It smells like tea. All right, so that's getting pretty dark. I'm gonna take that tea bag out. Looks like black tea. It smells similar to black tea as well. All right, let's give that a taste. Come by, here's the bug -a poop tea. Hmm, now it doesn't taste like black tea though. It's actually very smooth. Not at all bitter. It tastes a bit like oolong cha or oolong tea but the viscosity and the texture of it is more like a black tea. It's actually very good. Not bad at all. Quite palatable and delicious. With a splash of milk, it might even be better. So that's bug poop tea, and I think in closing and in summation of these last five days of bug eating, I have to say that mostly I think it's psychological. I think once you get over the idea that you're consuming insects or bug poop, in this case, it's really not bad at all. And I think of the five days, I think the tarantula body was the grossest thing, both in texture and flavor. But besides that, everything was highly palatable and actually quite delicious. And yeah, it would be a great snack, I think. Yeah. So let me know in the comments below if you're at all interested in entomophagy. If you want to eat something, what would you eat? And yeah, tune in for a couple more videos. I also picked up some silkworm flour and some cricket flour. So both of these things I plan on using in some kind of recipe, baking cookies or bread, I'm not exactly sure yet. So yeah, look for those videos soon. And yeah, happy holidays to you. I hope you guys enjoyed the five days of bug eating. And if there's anything else you wanna see me eat, let me know in the comments below. All right, happy holidays to you and yours. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. I love this presentation, love how it's on a stick. And yeah, let's let's take a few of these off and see how they taste. So they look very crispy. Let's give one of these little... Whoa! I just spilled bug poop precious tea all over myself. <laughs>